This is the world's first fully operational mech suit, a 200 horsepower, 4,000 kilogram beast of a machine that makes a human pilot 50 times stronger. And today, I get to learn how to pilot this thing. But to understand how we got here, let's rewind a few months back to when I stumbled across ExoSapien. I remember watching some of the clips on their channel, and not only was I surprised that this technology even existed, but that ExoSapien's HQ was actually located in my province. So after some back and forth, I finally arrived on scene and met the man behind this incredible feat of engineering, Jonathan. A visionary who's been developing the concept of the mech since 2006, back when I looked like this. Anyways, through years of hard work and dedication, Jonathan was able to turn this fantasy concept into a real machine here with us today. Behold, a 100% electric titan, powered by a 350 kilogram lithium ion battery at its core. This battery fuels two AC electric motors, which in turn drive two hydraulic pumps. These pumps push hydraulic fluid into these red cylinders, effectively functioning as the machine's muscles. However, the true marvel lies in the controls. They're completely in the hands of the pilot. The mech suit takes sensor input from the exoskeleton and amplifies it, boosting human strength by an astonishing 50 times. Safety is also taken into account with impact bumpers that prevent the machine from falling over. Supporting this giant frame are the legs, each fitted with three top-of-the-line trophy truck racing shocks. But make no mistake, this is not an autonomous robot. It's in fact an anti-robot. Without a human pilot, this machine remains completely immobile. It's an embodiment of technology that magnifies human potential and a beacon of what we can achieve when we harness the power of machinery. But that's enough talk, let's learn how to pilot this thing. The main objective of the pilot is to map their movements, joint for joint, and their balance to this new type of body. So you have to learn how to be a quadruped. And it's like, technically it's extremely simple because you literally just move. And we actually set you through some drills to just train. It's like Karate Kid, you know, paint the fence and wax on wax. It's like, what is this silly uh, drill I'm doing? But you, that's just you building reflexes and wiring your brain. And then all of those little movements and skills get called upon reflexively when you're trying to walk or do something or balance. So you're gonna hop in, kind of show me how it works. I'll get to see you in it and then I get to try it for myself. Yeah, exactly. Let's do it. This is the mech crouched down and it's huge. So we, we've driven nine hours down to Squamish all the way from my city and it's finally time to get into the mech. Let's do this. <laughs> I get in the top, right? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Slightly lengthy process, but we made it in. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Pacific Rim right now. It's kind of hard to get in and out, so I'm stuck here during preparations. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm curious to see what it actually feels like, because I've seen you do it now, and I've seen videos of people piloting the mech, but I don't know what it feels like, so we're about to find out. <laughs> okay, so we have rock climbing, we have unicycling. So yeah, I do, I play a ton of VR. I got the headset on, and you know, I'm, I'm doing flips, doing all sorts of acrobatics in VR, so we'll see if that translates into piloting the mech. <laughs> oh. She sounds beautiful! Upon piloting the mech for the first time, I felt as if I was controlling some giant transformer. But as I moved around a bit, I started to feel the mech as an extension of my own body. Flexing my elbows resulted in the mech standing on its forearms, performing a mechanical push-up. A flick of my knees and the mech extended its legs into a powerful squat. Soon enough, the basic movements felt very natural, and I was ready for a challenge. So you know those videos of people trying to open bottles with a forklift? Well, I wanted to try exactly that and test the mech's precision. Although the mech's controls were simple to understand in concept, actually executing any precise movement was difficult. And as much as I'd like to blame the rain and mud for failing this challenge, it simply comes down to a skill issue. So I had to get somebody more experienced to hop in and help. As you can see, the mech's precision hinges entirely on the skill of the pilot. Jonathan popped the cap off in seconds compared to me flailing around for 20 minutes. That was really fun. I haven't experienced anything like that before. It's definitely a beast. Okay, so it's been raining for the last five hours straight. As you can see, our camera gear is under the awnings. There's my videographer. Hello there. It's cold and it's wet, but we're having fun. All right, so some of you might be asking, when are you gonna crush something? Now. One. <laughs> it stood no chance whatsoever. It looks like he was like going for like an uppercut and then the, the stove was like, she got knocked out. <laughs> Yeah! Woo! 
Smash it! <laughs> I think he got it. <laughs> Hey Jonathan, this is uh, this is my my cheeky pet Alfred the alpaca. Do you mind watching him and uh, making sure he stays put? Yeah, I think I can probably make sure he doesn't go anywhere for you. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna put him right here. See you in a bit, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what what was that sound? <laughs> oh, he's he's busted. I don't think surgery is gonna fix this one. <laughs> Beyond the thrill of crushing random things, you might ask, what's the point? A gigantic machine that's cool to look at, but does it serve any purpose? Indeed, it does. This mech was built to give us humans an experience like never before. Very few people know what it feels like to literally walk around as Optimus Prime. But on top of that, there are also many practical applications for this technology, including fighting wildfires, aiding in search and rescue missions, and serving in industries like mining, agriculture, and construction. So, as we step into this thrilling new world of technology, remember, we're not just looking at a cool piece of tech. We're standing at the door to a future where we can do more, be more, and more importantly, have a whole lot more fun. Which reminds me, we have to stay true to my channel and challenge this colossal machine to a duel. May the force be with me. Run. Looks like we'll need to have a rematch. Anyways, for me, piloting this colossal mech was more than just an adventure. It was a realization. A realization that the boundary between sci-fi and our own reality is blurring. The mech suits we've marveled at in films like Avatar or Spider-Man are not just fantasies anymore. They're becoming part of our world in tangible machines like the Exosapien mech. Today's adventure reinforces that we're not just spectators in the realm of advanced technology. Rather, we're right in the action making strides in a brave new world. This giant leap is only the beginning, so stay tuned, the future is here, and trust me, it's going to become even more exhilarating.